Hi, Bernard. Hi, Carsten. Next video. Yeah, so in this one, we are doing some interesting benchmarking stuff. So you prepared two virtual machines, one sitting on a stretched volume and one is sitting on the local volume. And mm -hmm. we are comparing the numbers, right? So let's numbers see game. what exactly. Yeah, let's see what you have. Okay, I switched to my screen uh, with the um, Windows Admin Center with a lot of volumes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, we implemented the storage replica constraint uh, constraints network constraints so that they use the right network cards. We mm -hmm. maybe you remember or our viewer remember we did a non-stretched um, mm -hmm. um, volume with a two-way mirror. We see it here, and mm -hmm. it is in the odd side. Yeah? Okay, and. We also have this volume here. This is our stretched volume, the TO KR HCI1. You see, right. we have four volumes of a stretched mm -hmm. volume. It's also on the odd side. They are both presented on the same host. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we come back to Windows Admin Center later. So what what did I do? I I downloaded the eval version of windows server 2022 um, mm -hmm. in, installed the standard version uh, you see it here into mm -hmm. a vm with a 50 gigabyte virtual disk uh, this is on the non-stretched volume if you see the hard disk here cluster mm -hmm. storage non-stretched one um, yep. I downloaded a tool I like a lot, and we we have shown a bit with it uh, in the in the non-stretch series. So IOMeter, a very old tool, but it's it's very nice to visualize things. Um, you will see it uh, very soon. So I installed it, I configured it, so and created a 10 gigabyte test file. Mm -hmm. Let's show it here. Here's our yep. 10 gigabyte test file. And there all our IO is done into this file. I created mm -hmm. the test we are usually doing, eight workers. We have um, an access specification. We do an 8K test. This 8K test is, I would say, a, a good one. It's eight kilobytes. It's 100% random. So every mm -hmm. IO is random over this 10 gigabyte test file. And we have a 50% read, 50% write workload. So it's also okay. very heavy. Okay. Okay. So um, then I started the creation of our file, and then I shut everything down and exported the VM on a stretched volume. So these are basically the same virtual machines, the same setup, the same disks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and I also uh, open Task Manager because sometimes people don't believe this old tool. And uh, here we see our numbers from the Task Manager. You can add the disk counters even in the server with uh -huh. disk perf uh, minus Y, big Y, and then you have your disk numbers also in Task Manager. So now let's do our test. We start it uh -huh. and we will see, we already tested it, of course. You will see we have Eight workers, every worker has, is allowed to do 10 outstanding IOs. So we have 80 outstanding IOs, and we see we mm -hmm. have 100,000 8K IOPS. That's very nice for one virtual machine. Um, we are moving roughly 870, 70, 70 megabytes uh, full random data per second. Mm -hmm. The latency okay. is important here. So our average latency over all IOs yeah, is uh, 0.85 milliseconds. But remember, mm -hmm. that's the average. We do a lot of read and a lot of write. Uh, obviously, the write is most of the time slower than the read, right? We will yep. look at, uh, at that uh, in the Windows Admin Center uh, at once. Of course, we have some, some um, larger... Um, IOs and mm -hmm. you see the here the machine is busy it, it has sometimes 70 milliseconds sometimes 100 yeah, but we don't have errors here and here in disk disk uh, or in task manager you see also our data that we move mm -hmm. this is roughly half of the data we see here read and write they are equal because we do mm -hmm. a 50 50 and here yeah. we also see our 
0.8 milliseconds. So this should be the same number. Yeah, yeah it, I would say it corresponds pretty, yeah. pretty much, pretty well. Yeah. So if we go to Windows Admin Center, uh -huh. now we can we can get more information. We uh, open the non-stretched volume, and uh -huh. Windows Admin Center with this cluster performance history uh, database gives us a lot of information. And if we scroll down for our volume. Mm -hmm. We see here we have we have our statistics, and this is mm -hmm. an hour statistic. And we see here every ten or th I think every ten or thirty seconds this is updated. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the C seven. Yeah, it's every ten seconds. In the moment, we have roughly our one hundred thousand IOPS. And if we go right. here, mm -hmm. we could we see it's it's really roughly live, right? It will yep. go down a bit. And here, the most important part is the latency. We have an average latency in the VM. It's higher, but on the volume, we see 6.8 microseconds. So this, this is 0 0.07 milliseconds. And our write latency is 0 0.24 milliseconds. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it's the, the application sees more latency, but this is the latency we have on our volume. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is our non-stretched. So I yep. will stop it now mm -hmm. so that we can have a look at our stretched virtual machine. Again, let's see where it lives. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, the disk is the same because I created the uh, the machine with the name non-stretched yeah. benchmark, then I exported it, but the disk is not renamed. But you mm -hmm. see here, it's on... Okay. The stretch or okay, HCI one, the stretch. Right. Yeah, the Get stretched it. one. I agree. Yes, and I, I, of course, I have weird names for my hosts. So, uh, mm -hmm. okay, it's where it, it should be. We have mm -hmm. the same test. So, if you here see, we have eight workers, 10 outstanding yep. IOs, so uh, access random. specifications is all the same. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And just have a look. 100% random. Everything is the same. So, if I start the test now, Mm -hmm. You see here, we have around half the I.O. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go, we, we will go in this again. So if we compare the virtual machines, I, not this one, where's the other virtual machine? Here. So now we have them side by side. This is not running, but we still mm -hmm. see the statistics here. The old numbers. So here we have roughly 50,000 IOPS, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We move 400 something megabytes per second, mm -hmm. but the latency is higher here. So the VM sees 1.4 milliseconds, 1.5 milliseconds on average. Mm -hmm. This is more stable here, by the way. It's not 100 or 80, it's 17, 12, mm -hmm. uh, 20 or so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, and here again in our in our task manager, we see the same. We have same write and read, and we see the mm -hmm. 1.4 milliseconds. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's have a look in Windows Admin Center. Center. Yeah, and we go to the stretched volume. Same statistics here, mm -hmm. and we see our our 50k IOPS. Yep. And we see here we have very nice read latency, uh, 0.0, right. 0 or what is it? 0 0.01 milliseconds, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but here the write latency is higher. So we have mm -hmm. roughly 2.1, 2.2 milliseconds write latency. Mm -hmm. um, so this application is slower and we see it also in the io it can't do as much io as the other vm but the write latency is higher and uh, i've seen worse to be mm -hmm. fair yeah. so microsoft seems to have done something or i have a lucky day usually mm -hmm. i see roughly three milliseconds write latency this is 33 percent better or 30 percent better so it's a rough it's here 2.1 milliseconds but we have an impact of the storage replica. Of course, we have an impact because we have a synchronous, a synchronous replication. Mm. 
the data is written twice on the other side, so it should be slower as a mm. non-replicated machine. Correct? So, yeah, and if we, you know, just do some maths around it, so the write latency is factor 10, uh, at least in our case, right? It might be different on your hardware. Uh, on uh, the volume. Uh, uh, the VM the, doesn't see as, as yeah. much, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, but on the yeah. volume, it's, it's, it's um, in the moment 10 times Right, but you know, for the right, for the right, I think that's a significant, you know, add-on. So uh, I mean, we are coming from uh, zero point two milliseconds, right? Um, mm -hmm. And now we have a factor ten of it. Um, so I, I think it's, um, it's worth mentioning, right? Yeah, um, but still, the VM is doing good here. It's half the I/O. Yeah. Yes, so, I mean, uh, it's the numbers doesn't on... really match. Yeah. I mean, it, it's depending on your workload, right? I mean, if you have write intensive workload, um, you will see the impact more. Um, if you have read more read related stuff, then uh, you may not see so much difference um, between a stretched and a non-stretched. However, that's only one virtual machine producing the load, right? Um, mm -hmm. And you know, we still need to you know see how the system scales, right? Because if you would put more virtual machines on a stretched cluster, you know, the the math the mathematics would um, would be different, right? More virtual machines have a different impact on a stretched cluster than um, than on a non-stretched mm. cluster, right? Yeah, and uh, this is important to know. Yeah, you have an impact here, and um, there's also um, we said it in the introduction, in the moment, uh, this uh, a huge part of this latency is uh, caused by the source log file. Okay. Yeah, um, so um, it could be better because the, the cluster is not really far stretched. It's really all together. So this is, mm. this is the best you should see. Maybe if you have faster NVMEs, okay. But we have this impact of at least two milliseconds uh, from a stretch scenario. It can, it can be more if you do, if you stretch them uh, more apart and you have few switches between, so you, you have additional uh, right. additional latency. But if, you're, if your application needs below one millisecond latency, you can't do, in the moment, you can't do a, um, an Azure Stack HCI stretch because this will not change if we switch to asynchronous. Yeah, yeah that would be my question, right? So would it change? Um, we can do that, it, yeah. Okay, let's do it. I mean... But then we have to pause our video, of course, because <laughs> it will... Oh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's show how it's done. So mm -hmm. we just go to storage replica. It's. I think it's very nice. I, I like the inter the 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 Windows Admin Center interface for um, storage replica. It's easy to handle because if you do it with PowerShell, it's 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 uh, harder to do, right? Yeah. So here we are in the storage replica. Mm -hmm. yeah, I I open I, I I do it a little bit bigger. Yeah, you see here we have continuous replicating, but where mm -hmm. where are my what have I done? Is this is a partnership. Ah, here these are the groups we have to look yeah. here. So this is the volume mm -hmm. we have our data in. Ah, we can get rid of it, but we can't. Can we do? Yes, we can. So this is uh, this is the volume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's the uh, HCI one. This is uh, where our uh, where our um, stretched benchmark is living, yeah. and we can change under settings. Mm -hmm. We can modify the partnership settings. Mm -hmm. You see here it's synchronous, and we can switch to asynchronous. Huh? Now it asks us for the recovery point objective in seconds and in the moment, I'm not quite sure. So at least it, it should not be longer than 30 seconds, I guess, apart, mm. the log yeah. file. So we we will save this, attempting to modify the partnership. Let's see if it works. Yeah, partnership setting. So let's go back to the storage replica page. 
It still shows continuous replicating is okay. Replication mode synchronous is not what we want to see, right? Let's reload. It's asynchronous. Oh, now it's no, asynchronous. It's it switched. It's just switched. Uh, there was synchronous there, or oh, yeah, did I yeah, see yeah, it wrong? Yeah, yeah. So it just switched. So uh, and we can also check with PowerShell, I guess, if we have the right. Should we get uh, SR, SR part? Group. Let's see if the partnership is showing. It's no, the it's group. not. It's the group. You think it's the group? Okay, get SR group. 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 We have multiples. We have to find the ones with the. I think there are up, 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 two. So this is still two. This is one group. Yeah. Asynchronous. asynchronous, continuously replicating, and here also asynchronous. So now we have an asynchronous replication. Mm -hmm. We go back to our Windows Admin Center. Mm -hmm. We go back to our volume inventory. Mm -hmm. We start our benchmark again mm -hmm. and go to our volume. Let's see the numbers here. Mm -hmm. So it's better. In the moment, it's better. Let's see if that stays. No. You see here? We have our 50,000 again, yep. our 200, 400 something. <laughs> 1.5. Pretty I've, similar. I've even seen it getting worse, the latency, mm. with asynchronous. Uh, but you see, it's pretty the same. And to be uh, to be honest, um, mm. it's the source log. Uh, writing the source log file uh, takes its time. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, that's I think a good exercise. Um, the numbers are getting. Uh, getting down i think we are pretty similar to what we've seen before the read latency started a little bit high but i think that was the sort of the spike that we saw and now after some time it's um it's getting back to the previous values yeah. seem to be a little bit higher though but not significantly it's a little as bit I would higher, say. yeah, yeah. Well, and the iops are also 55 53 yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's yeah. roughly the same maybe it's a bit better but as said i mean Par going beyond or or, or lower uh, than the 2.2 milliseconds here um, is not possible, or at least you know at this stage um, due to the lock mechanism that would add uh, this latency on it. So yeah. be aware that there is that there is a an add. There is an impact. Rates. Yeah, yeah, and you have to be aware of it. Uh, so um, so um, uh -huh. let's say redundancy always has its Toll is price, uh, yep. yeah, yep. because yep. we have uh, we, we write four times here, mm -hmm. um, two two times on one side, two times on the other side. So of course there's a it's a is a toll of it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's uh, a good example of how we can measure a bit with IO meter, and uh, for our playing around, and maybe we do some more measurements with a, a lot of VMs. Yep. In, in another video, in the next video, um, with VM Fleet. But I will yep. already have deployed it. We don't have to uh, look it. how to deploy VM Fleet because we did that in uh, the, the other, other video series. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. See you then. See you soon.